Welcome to this demonstration of CI-CD automation for Oracle integration with Oracle Visual Builder Studio. My name is Shai Schmelzer. In this demonstration, we're going to show you how you can create a new version of an integration through the Oracle integration web interface, and then how you can use Visual Builder Studio to automate a CI-CD pipeline that would export the integration from one environment and then import it and invoke it and activate it in another environment. We we'll start with an application over here that shows us information about the country. Let's switch to live mode. If you put in the code for a country, it would go over and fetch the information about this country. Now, one of the things we noticed is that the population that is being returned is incorrect. Now, the data for this is coming from a service that is connected to this instance of Oracle Integration Cloud. And inside Oracle Integration Cloud, we can find our integrations. The counter info is the integration we're using right now. We're at version 1.0.3 of this integration. To make changes to this integration, we're going to switch over to our developer instance. In here, we're going to go to integrations and see the same integrations uh, that we have in our production. But now on our development instance, we're going to create a new version of our integration. This would be version 04. And we're going to edit this integration to look and fix the issue with returning the correct information about population. Let's look at the assignment to the values that are returned from this integration over here and edit this assignment. On the right side, we can expand to see what is the source of information returned for the people field. We can see that it's coming from this REST call, but right now it's mapped to the area information, which is incorrect. So let's remove this mapping And instead, we're going to map the population data into the people information that is being returned. Let's validate this integration. Close this mapper. And save the new version of the integration. And we can now close this one as well. Again, we're currently on our developer instance, and we can activate our integration on this instance. So this would now be something we can further check on our developer instance, make sure that everything is okay. And if we're happy with the result, we want to promote the same changes to our production instance. To do that, we're going to switch back over to the other environment. And over here, we have an instance of Visual Builder Studio with a pipeline that can take an integration and run it through an export and then import. We're gonna run the pipeline providing the information about the version of the integration we want to export and import into our environment. And we can see this is running right now. Let's show you the configuration of the first step of our pipeline. This step uses an export integration step to connect to our development instance we pass in a parameter of the version number and we export the integration. We're using here one of the built-in Oracle integration action. As you can see, you can choose an export or an import. You can map to a specific environment. And then we even make it easy to select the right integration that you want to export and the right version, allowing you to browse the catalog of integration. So over here, for example, we can see all the integrations that this user has access to. We can further, further filter it and pick the specific integration we would like to export. So this is how easy it is to add such a step. We already have this step defined here. And then after the build, we're going to archive the IAR file that contains this integration. So you can see that this uh, pipeline that we ran he has finished just now successfully both steps. So let's look at the second step. 
and this is the part where we're actually going to import the integration into another instance. So again, looking at the configuration for this build step, the first step is to copy the artifact, the IAR file from the previous build, and then the actual step over here uses an import of the integration into another instance and also activates this integration. We can now refresh the view of our production instance and we can see that version 104 has been added and it's active right now. So let's go back to our application that we checked before and let's try it again now. We'll put in a country code such as the US, fetch the information and indeed we can see there's over 300 million people in there. If we'll put in NZ4 New Zealand, we're going to see that there's about four and a half million people. So our integration works.